Hello everyone and welcome to my let's play of ActRaiser for the SNES. Uh, I played a lot of this game when I was young, I mean a lot of this game, it was one of my favourite games. Uh, the thing about this game is, the original Japanese one was known for being too hard, and the American version was known for being too easy, but I'm playing the PAL version, and ours has a difficulty setting, so ours is just right. Let's play on normal. Okay, let's see if I can remember what button I assigned to what key. Uh, let's call myself Knox, because as far as you know, that's my name. I'm sorry, I'm just skipping through all this. You probably want to read it, sorry. Uh, okay. Let's go. Okay, now I remember right. I go to here, fight monsters, and oh wait, now there's something I always do. I remember when I played this before. There's something I. I'm not quitting. I'm doing something first. God, leave me! Stop smothering me! Message speed. That's what I always do. Uh, so yeah, I always go to fast, so it just appears like that. I once made the mistake of going all the way to slow. Don't ever do that. It goes like a, a word a minute. Fight monsters. If we destroy all monsters in this land, people will be able to live here again. Yep, let's go. Um, let's go, it's been ages since I played this. Uh, what button does what again? Okay. I remember I played a lot of the first level for some reason. Um, I remember a lot about it. First level in particular. Strong button. Uh, another thing this, uh, whoops, something this game has going for it is, um, after the usual actual action pla platformer type bit here, there's a, it's, well, it's part action platformer and part city sim, I'll, you'll see in a minute. I never knew what these things were when I was young. I always thought it looked like a little alien guy standing around, but I guess it's some sort of orb on a stand or something. Well, whatever, it gives you stuff if you break them. Stab, stab. What up? Not that I'll need it, I mean, I'm so great at this game, I'll never die. Oh, I'll die a lot. Have the apple. Is that an apple? I always thought it was an apple. Uh, there's something I always do at this point to get a. Oh crap. Um, I meant to jump off before he turned around, but there's something I always do at this point to get a sneaky first hit on the boss before the fight actually starts. It's not cheating, shut up! But if I jump off here, run up to him, hit him. Ah! There <laughs> My, for some reason, my dad was really bad at playing this game. Oh crap. I mean, he could never beat this first boss here. But when I was like eight, I tried it and did it on my first go. <laughs> uh. I, mean, I don't. How. How can anyone be bad at this boss? Done. Dead. Woo! <clears throat> Okay, now we get the city sim part. The city sim part's real fun, actually. Yeah, I like a good city sim. 
I started playing Civilization 2 the other day. Uh, during the City Sun patch, you play as a little angel person flying around and building the city. Uh, what button did it? Okay. First duty is to protect our people from any monsters. I will do as you instruct. Please rid the land of these monsters with my arrows. There are several mysterious circles on the ground which represent monsters. Oh yeah, you have to guide the uh, people into the monster slayers and destroy them. Direct the people correctly, they will be able to seal the lairs. You will discover the monster that controls this land. Uh, yeah, the second part of the action platform a bit comes if you just when you destroy all the monster layers in the city sim part. All right, let's do this shit. I know it's an extra long. Oh yeah, and your people sometimes come and talk to you. Building home because of bushes. Oh yeah. <clears throat> See, this is pretty much a. Oh yeah, that's how you shoot. This is pretty much a play god type thing. Um, you can move your sky palace, return to the sky palace. This is how you move. Let's guide the people here. See, um, what they have to do is they have to. You have to wait until they uh, build about the city in this little bit here, then they move to this bit, then this bit, then finally that bit. Uh, that's when you want to talk to your people. Uh, these are your miracle, the your uh, miracles which are always fun. Lightning, which uh, clears away trees and rocks and kills anything that happens to be within a square of where you set the lightning. Oh, yeah. um, there's rain, which uh, I think it's used in the desert level when you have to clear all the sand. Sun, which I think it gets rid of a uh, marshy bits that stop people from building. I can't remember what wind does though, I remember there's a bit where you have to turn um, windmills and you have to get the wind, use the wind to blow the windmills. And if you're feeling like a right nasty bastard, you can kill everyone with an earthquake! There's a reason for that later on. Uh, take an offering, use an offering as a pretty much items that people give you. Stats, your stats, I'm up one, I have three lives, so... Uh, Experience points in this game are sort of like um, how many people live in your cities. Status of cities. Fillmore, which is the one I'm working on now, there are two people living there, and it's a level one city. And you have stuff like progress log, that's save, message speed. Do you want to record the progress? Yes, I would. Do you want to continue building a world? Yes, I would. You are a diligent and hard work. So diligent and hard working. Oh, you flatter me, little angel guy. <clears throat> okay, well, the people have uh, pre pretty much told me that they want me to get rid of all the pretty trees. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll just kill this thing first. Some of these can be a really bastard. It's a. Uh, these ones. The little black ones come and steal your people from their houses and take them off. God knows what they do to them. Uh, the the big white one over here actually destroys houses. There's a bugger later on who um, you know how I said uh, oi, stop that. Come on. How um, using an earthquake kills everyone. And yes, there is a reason why you want to do that later on. <laughs> Uh, um, there's actually a monster that takes like five hits to kill uh, in the late one of the later levels, and he uh, and his main attack is causing earthquakes. I don't know how much of that you heard. I just realised my microphone is at an awkward angle. Ooh, my people want to tell me how amazing I am. After the skill of hunting animals, we now have. Oh, good day. <clears throat> oh, there. Uh, that just pretty much means they can kill monsters now. I, I never explained but the difference between the story mode and action mode is Ooh, something was found. in the uh, main menu uh, basically action mode is all the levels in order without the city sim parts in between I like story mode and a strange statue we the city the uh, city sim parts are fun and um 
that's pretty much it. City, city simple parts are fun. Hey, take an offering. Got something to give me. Okay, this is a uh, pretty much a. It, it's what it says there. It's a bomb. It kills everything on the screen. All the monsters on the screen. That is. If I wanted to kill all my people on the screen, I'd use an earthquake. Come on. Oh, uh, there's no reason to have them keep going that way. Hold on. Do I think you'd want to um, have them build as much as possible because um, I guess that before the more people are in your town, the more you level up, the more hit points you get. It's good too because the the more time goes on. Oh, people want to talk to me again. I'm trying to explain the game. Do you mind? Recently, strange things have been happening to me. Oh, it's normal for people your age. Many of my thoughts actually come to life in the real world. Can you, can, can you think of me having a million pounds, please? If these powers are real, I feel the presence of something holy radiating from the- Oh yeah, that's my first magic spell. If I make people build somewhere over here, I get a magic spell. More on that later. Oh, oh, oh fuck off! <laughs> Sorry, I panicked. Oh, shit. Hey, God, uh, our houses are on fire. Could you do something about that? Fire has broken out of the home in the north. That awkward moment when you don't have enough power to summon rain and fuck, I don't have enough power to summon rain. No, no, no. Can I get more power by killing things? Ooh, oh. Word. Oh, well. Oh, I'm a shit god. Ow. I've actually, I have been told I get a bit angry and sweary in these things. So, uh, sorry about that, just I get really into it, and when you see your people burning in front of your eyes and you have no SP to summon rain, it gets a bit, you know. Oi. At least they're rebuilding. See, they have little crop things going on. I was in the middle of saying something before, what was it? Oh yeah, as uh, time goes on, as oh stop doing that, go away. <clears throat> and uh, the more you build, the more people, the civilization sort of uh, evolves. Yeah, that's weird. The more it evolves, and soon you get big houses and hotels and things like that. Yay, level up. Your your level is O2, and your HP are nine. By the way. Your level will increase again when the total population becomes 200. Oh, that's not too bad. It's far away. And that's that. People have sealed the monsters in the, the, the civilization level. Yeah, like that. Uh, that pretty much means that they can build the more civilized houses. Which I think now that I think about it, it's um, not how much you build a how long you've been playing, it's how many monster layers you destroy, I think. There's only, what, two more left in this level? It gets harder, it really gets harder. See, now they have little wood huts instead of the straw houses. What do you want? God! Okay, I'll use my powerful lightning to <coughs> get rid of these. Two 
revealed something that may be very useful. Your people have something to say, by the way. God, I have this weird itch on my uh, lower area. Could you do something about that? Oh, the magic token. I think that's what I need to cast spells when I get one. I don't like it when I can't see the monsters, I always think they're blowing things up in my town. Oh yeah, you um... If the game deems that you're moving too much, it just stops it there. Him, yay! Oh wait, wait. Uh, I do this building direction over here. I think once they get there, you get a get to here, you get a magicy symbol-y thing that you can use to use uh, magic during the actual levels. Level up! Your HP are ten. I know it's unexpected, but your people want to bother you again. Felt a fishing trade here. Felt like you. Fisherman repairing his boat along the sea shore found this unusual scroll. Oh, what do you want? My master may inform you that a scroll was found in the woods east of here. He said it's you as an offering. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. I haven't been taking these offerings ever. Okay, these sorts of magics are sort of like your MP type thing. See, so now I have two, I can cast spells twice. Magical fire, that's my actual spell. The lightning bolt you sent just smashed a huge rock. We found a magical fire spell underneath the rock. The spell must belong to you, my master. Please accept it as an offering. Oh, why not? <clears throat> and that's pretty much my magic. I can cast fireball two times. 